Destiny raids are cooperative missions that are one of the most rewarding experiences the game has to offer, testing your skills, stamina and teamwork. If you're trying them out for the first time, here are six reasons why I think they're awesome. A raid is a six-player protracted puzzle designed to test a variety of skills, from crowd control to sniping, and teamwork to solo platforming. Everything you do in the main game is here, but turns up to 11. Oh, For instance, the Vault of Glass begins with an intense version of the Crucible's control point gameplay, protecting three sync plates that must be activated simultaneously. If you think you're a pro at Destiny, a raid is the ultimate test to know for sure. <laughs> Many of Destiny's most powerful weapons and armor are only obtainable through raids. Each of the nine weapon types have a legendary or exotic version that can be found in each run. The armor and weapons you win from raids are designed to reflect the enemies you'll fight in that particular encounter, like this cool armor from King's Fall that mirrors Oryx's tough outer shell. Every raid is designed with a unique heartbeat. There's Crota's End, which encourages hero moments where one individual player must wield a sword the size of a Shetland pony to save the day, while Wrath of the Machine was designed to celebrate explosive blockbuster combat. Raids can't be beaten by spraying and praying. Encounters like the Gorgon's Labyrinth are unlike anything else you'll experience in Destiny and subvert the rules you learned in PvE and multiplayer. Here, you must be stealthy or your whole fire team will be wiped out. This design approach to encounters means each raid feels distinct, new, and unpredictable. Many first-person multiplayer shooters can be enjoyed by lone wolves. Sure, you'll push that Overwatch payload faster if you're collaborating with your team through a headset, but the reality is that it can be delivered even if you don't communicate once with other players. Raids, on the other hand, require intense coordination. Three, two, one. Nice. Right. Roles will have to be assigned and retasked on the fly. You'll need to rethink your strategy when entering a new area, and some roadblocks can only be overcome by trading approaches. Destiny 2 has made teamwork easier with the addition of clans and guided games. Put simply, there's now an in-game matchmaking system that matches you with players looking for the extra person to complete their fire team. It means that now even solo players can get stuck into raid missions. Destiny raids are all about the why can'ts. Why can't other missions be this fun or this clever? Why can't everything you play push your limits so expertly? Mainly though, Destiny raids are about thinking, why the f can't I work out how to kill that guy? No! Oh my god! Raids are deliberately designed to provide very little information on how to complete them. There are no waypoints to follow or objectives that explain what to do. For most groups, the only way to figure out what to do is to put in hours of head scratching or resort to Googling a solution. However you do it, the game won't help you at all. Oh my god. Once your serotonin levels have settled after finishing a raid on normal, you can roll up your sleeves and try again on hard. While normal mode is about learning the mechanics and building strategies to overcome whatever's thrown at you, hard mode demands mastery of the whole run. Enemies are stronger, death penalties are harsher, and boss encounters often introduce new, more challenging mechanics. But greater difficulty equals greater reward, and higher level loot will be yours if you have the steel to run a raid on the toughest difficulty. Okay. Those are my six reasons why I love raids. Let me know yours in the comment section below. In the meantime, we've got loads of Destiny content on IGN, including our speedrun that beat the Crota Zen raid in under 30 minutes, and what's new in Destiny 2. Yes! Woo!